vitamin D and calcium in the high-risk individuals who have had a fracture can reduce the risk of falls and fractures. So that information is between 800 to 2,000 of vitamin D. And seniors that are often in long-term care have very low vitamin D levels and their muscles can become painful or uncomfortable. And vitamin D is about $20 a year. It's a very cheap option with very little, very few side effects. So we are recommending that long-term care homes establish these practices. And I think families who are more informed and residents who are more informed can advocate for the best care. Now folks will often say to me, especially physicians, our residents are on so many drugs, you're asking me to start more drugs. And I'll often say when I look at the medication that they're drugs that we can stop, that there are things that can be discontinued and reviewed because I, that's my area of expertise is working with older um, individuals. The other things that we know is we've talked about there are a number of medi medications by mouth through a needle twice a year or once a year through an intravenous. So if taking a pill is a challenge, there are other options. The drugs you need work very quickly within a year to reduce your chances of breaking something. Now, and those options are covered by the government for seniors, so having that discussion um, with the nurse, with the pharmacist, can often bring the physician on board because it's a team in long-term care. And so engage your healthcare team if you can't directly access your physician to advocate for your parent or for yourself. We know from the hospital we could do a better job of starting treatment on patients. We often send them home and we could do better initiating treatment after a fracture. In terms of falls, um, I know people were talking about physiotherapy. We know people who are at high risk, just walking actually may increase the risk of breaking something. So people who are at high risk, when I say high risk, who have broken a bone before, the physiotherapist needs to focus on balance and resistance training. And even though you may be very frail or your parent be very, be, parent be very frail, nutrition and that targeted exercise of balance and resistance training is really important. The other things that reduce falls is reviewing the medication somebody's on. We know that certain drugs for depression that control behavior with dementia can also increase the risk of breaking something. And as dementia changes over the time you have the disease, you may not need that dose of medication or you may not need that medication anymore. So individuals change as the disease changes. So it's, it may have, you know, your parent or you may have come into long-term care with certain drugs, but that can change. The bottom line we want to share is that we can reduce the chance of breaking something, prevent the pain, and improve the quality of life for residents in long-term care in Ontario.